Alison Dewlis, Deputy Speaker. Um, first of all, I want to um, put on record my thanks to firefighters. There is currently a fire raising, um, raging through commercial premises in Sucky Hall Street in Glasgow. And I think it is right that we pay tribute to the firefighters who run towards those, those burning buildings, putting themselves very much at risk every day. And that happened, of course, yesterday with the, the Metro Hotel in Dublin. So I think we should um, very much put that on record. Um, I appreciate what he says about the work going on with the fire door risk and also wish to put on the record that um, Scotland's Minister Kevin Stewart has said that the post-2005, with our building regulations, there have been none of that type installed within Scotland. But could he tell us a wee bit more about work on going to establish the extent of those um, problematic fire doors in the rest of the UK? And I do have some concerns that you know, we started off with cladding, we've moved on to concerns about fire doors, and what are we doing to identify in a comprehensive way what the risks are um, for people in all kinds of um, different buildings in which you live and you want to go home at night and feel safe. Um, what is being done to identify support for people in private sector buildings um, who are now finding themselves having to find the cost of um, replacing cladding on their buildings for which they had no idea was going to be a problem when they moved in? And that affects some residents, um, not in my constituency, but within Glasgow at the Glasgow Harbour development. They need a bit of reassurance for what can be done to, to help them pay for something to, to their building of which they were not aware and could not have been aware um, when they moved in. And they will not be the only building across the UK that is affected by that. Lastly, I would like to hear a wee bit more from the Minister about future action. And Scotland's Housing Minister, Kevin Stewart, announced on the 18th of March that, he, that there will be amendments to the Housing Scotland Act 1987 being brought forward to cover all properties, all homes, um, so that at least one smoke alarm will be installed in the main living room, at least one smoke alarm will be um, installed in the main circulation space, at least one heat alarm will be installed in every kitchen, that these will be ceiling mounted, interlinked, and he's also looking at issues around hard wiring, the age of smoke detectors, and looking at CO2 detectors as well, it's clear to me that there needs to be a comprehensive approach to this, so that regardless of the type of house that you live in, of the type of ownership of that house, whether you own it yourself in social rented or private rented, that we all have an equal standard of protection and we can all expect to remain safe in our own homes. Secretary of State. Madam Deputy Speaker, first of all, can I join the Honourable Lady in commending the work of firefighters you know, throughout the UK and everything they do to keep us safe? Uh, she asked about the uh, issue of uh, fire doors. Uh, the, the work continues, uh, through, led through the expert panel and uh, the National Fire Chiefs Council uh, in uh, carrying out further tests. I hope she appreciates what it literally requires is uh, finding doors that currently are installed that belong to uh, private families and, uh, and working with them to take those doors and replace them at the same time and, um, and testing. But that testing uh, continues uh, at pace. And, um, uh, and we are also, just to reassure, we're sharing the information that we're gathering uh, with uh, officials in devolved authorities. Uh, rightly so. Um, she had also asked about the uh, private sector, and in particular, I guess, leaseholders that live in uh, towers with, the, with ACM that is affected. Um, the, in, it, it, there are many of these cases. There are more uh, that have uh, come about in, in recent days as well, including, as she has mentioned, in Scotland as well. I mean, first of all, in terms of action in Scotland, the Scottish Government is also you know, free to take action itself. It wants to help those leaseholders in any way. Mm -hmm. What we are continuing to do is uh, work first with uh, many of the builders and the freeholders. I believe uh, uh, the, the, the leaseholders have no responsibility for uh, what's happened, and uh, I want to see, where possible, the builders and freeholders take more responsibility. I have also uh, am planning at the moment to convene a, a roundtable with uh, freeholders and builders to see what more we can do and keep that situation under review. And lastly, she talked about uh, action being taken in Scotland on, build, uh, on smoke alarms and in other ways on fire safety. Uh, and of course, that's for the Scottish Government. Um, and, but I do agree with her that all this needs to be reviewed in light of the Grenfell Tower tragedy. And that's exactly why we have the independent review taking place by Dame Hackett.